So if you're new to the channel, you may have heard of a series I used to make called Roblox Watch. And what Roblox Watch is, or what it was, was my attempt at a satirical news theme series where I would take real incidents that happened with Roblox and I would add elements of fiction to them to make them funny. So like an example would be uh, back when tickets were removed, I, I had this segment that described the facts of what was going on and then I totally made up the speech that David made at a fake press conference where he was explaining how to be evil and how he totally fooled his stupid customers. Elections, Roblox CEO David Bazuki told media sources, it'd be best if the users were told something simple, like the change was made to improve the look of the site. We did that back when we removed subforums a few years ago and the board of directors was shitting themselves laughing at how no one questioned it. But then I would go on to actually criticize his decision. And I did this with a lot of things. I would explain what was happening, make a joke about it, and then I would argue why it's wrong. So one person in particular who I know really didn't like me doing this is Bob Purin, who you may know is Noble Dragon. So Bob works at Roblox as the head of moderation. And a lot of my jokes and a lot of my criticism was directed at moderation. So Bob and his team of mods got together and started banning me. And they banned every single account that I created just because it was mine. And at first I was really heartbroken, especially after my first account, Navy98, was deleted. But after the fourth or fifth deletion, I stopped caring. And on tonight's broadcast, Mario 1234 a well-known and well-respected art tier was deleted. Why? Hey now, it's Roblox, remember? Do we ever really know why innocent people get deleted other than because some prick sits in a chair all day wishing he had more Hot Pockets to shove into his face while he ruins people's fun on a forum for a children's building game? These and in the final episode of the first season of Roblox Watch, I decided that I would give Bob his own segment. So, uh, a friend of mine who's a furry, was looking through the list of people that Bob followed on his Roblox Twitter account, and he recognized this furry artist in that list. And this wasn't like some low-level hand-holding stuff. This was like... The got one. So in the segment that I made for Bob, I explained the whole thing, made some jokes about it, and then I gave a monologue as to why it's probably not a good idea for the head of moderation at Roblox to be following a not safe for work account on his Roblox affiliated Twitter account. This was really the nail in the coffin for my alias. And from this point on, we're doing so much as mentioning my name on the site, whether it was on the forums, in game, or even like in your bio would get you permanently banned. And there's a lot of accounts in Roblox hell for saying Ben Simon on the forums. So this segment came out in May of 2016. It was over three years ago, and regardless, I'm still being banned by Bob to this day. So a month ago, I met him in-game on an account that lasted almost two years without being banned. It was Hostile Skies. I was in-game with him, and I was about to win. He was like the last person left, and he was on the enemy team. So I typed in chat something along the lines of, Hey, Noble Dragon. If I let you win, will you unban Navy898 or something like that? And he didn't reply, so I shot him down and he left the game. And a week later, I was deleted on that long standing account. Not just me though, I was living with my girlfriend at the time and we shared an IP. And the way that Noble Dragon banned me is he looked at the IP that I was using that account on and he found all the accounts that used that IP and they he banned all of those too. So my girlfriend was caught in the collateral of that even though she's never broken any rules. She hardly even uses in-game chat and the only, the only thing she did wrong was be affiliated with me. All of her progress in all of her games wiped because we shared the same IP. So I, I think that was pretty dumb. I mean, I'm used to getting banned over and over again. This was her first ban. This was her first uh, moderation on that account. So she had never been banned before and she got deleted. So she was pretty frustrated about it. But you know, I, I did what I always do. I picked myself back up. I made a new account and I started playing games again and making videos. So yeah, that's why I'm always getting banned on Roblox.